how much the chemical things it's very dangerous from our life and mm -hmm. I know how many farmers died about the chemical how many women cannot burn about it how many child forget her eyes and a lot of dangerous thing from that time I try to between myself I, I said that's it phase it's red line for myself to put chemical things I need to have uh, uh, organic planting oh. see everything gets white at that thing oh. when I check with my finger I know that a lot of chemical powder coming and uh, staying in uh, in my farm when I try to know what happened I know that at that night the change the wind changed from the east to the west and at that time, at that night, they were working too much at this, especially this line of chemical powder, as all the powder came to this way, as he covering all my farm, and he been uh, to my neighbor again, to the Jewish farmer in her greenhouses, because they having thousands of greenhouses, and between her greenhouses, they planting a flower and send it to Europe. As this uh, powder, he touch all her uh, Okay, okay. Uh, flower between her greenhouses and he firing him one week after all her uh, flower cannot picking him cannot selling him and for me because it's I am more close for the factory and uh, more uh, powder coming to my farm all the planting in my farm at that time died after one week as from our side like Palestinian we go to the Israeli court and the Jewish farmer again from her side going to the court but they answering us different answer yeah they answering him that the factory it's in West Bank they cannot do for him anything for us they said to us that we don't have a report to say that this factory endangering our life and our planting but you want to know that 2004 when they start to build the factory here yeah. he came to build the new factory here because he been in Israel in one village his name is Tilmund in Israel and he then danger the life and the planting with the farmer there when they going to the court after 30 days the Israeli court closing the factory there as he came in and building a new here in our side mm. we don't need a new report that this factory danger the life and the planting but again, because I have a lot of powder, 1989, a lot of chemical powder, I took small example yeah. from the powder, I took small example from the salt, I took small uh, example from the black water again, yeah. and send it to the Israeli lie, because at that time we didn't have here in West Bank yeah. uh, modern life yeah. to check yeah. this uh, example. Yeah. And after one, one week when I go to take the the example they refused to take me the report and said to me i need a, a permission from the israeli security side what what meaning security side to have the report and they refused to take us the report to send it to the court as we cannot do anything but our neighbor the jewish farmer they joking about this different answer and they came in with her food directly this world doesn't be at that time they came in to the owner who's make this factory and said to him you want to take care from us we are living here before you and yeah. us and our life our security food our child all of us here yeah. and you danger our life and our planting yeah. he said to him really i am a new here i am very sorry i don't know that the weather here sometime going the wind going to the west i promise all of you I, I taking a care about the wind. When the wind going to the west, I stopping this line to take a, a care about her life. But when the wind, 320 days, for 30 days going to the east side to danger the life of 67,000 people, it's not important. Mm. This is the apartheid. Yeah. What is the name of this factory? Gishuri. 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 How do yeah. you Gishuri? Gishuri. This is the name of the owner, but I think. The, the name of the company, Keshet Brima. And what, when what do they to the produce? Can you turn it? Said? What, what uh, do they... Keshet Brima, in English, Allah is Sadr. What do they produce? Chemicals or...? Uh, the important thing that they are doing, it's first the fertilizers. Many kind of the fertilizers. 40, 50 meter west, it's the apartheid wall. Yeah. 40, 50 meter, it's the chemical factory wall. Yeah. 200 meter it's the chemical factory wall yeah. as from the three side we are between it him. where we are standing here it's very close to the white sea from here to Natania city it's 12 kilometer mm -hmm. it's eight mm -hmm. nine 
minute in the car to be in there. Mm -hmm. As Israel army, Israel government, they fighting us about every one centimeter from this area, especially to Karim and Kalkilia. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, and again, uh, at uh, 1984, they start to build this factory. You see how many, how it's 11 factories yeah. here. Yeah. And we are after him, yeah. as we are between the chemical factory in the east yeah. and the apartheid wall in the west, yeah. and another chemical factory in the south as we are between it all the time yeah. as all the time they're pushing more and more and more yeah. to difficulting our uh, life to transfer us from our land okay. but thanks to my god we are till now here yeah. it, it. we don't hate the jewish people in our culture we're looking to the jewish to another all the people in the world like we are looking to ourselves me i am not too much religion because I am communist I put the religion inside mm -hmm. and uh, because my believing that the religion <laughs> it's especially life between yourself and your God it's not for me mm -hmm. uh, and uh, about uh, our neighbor our about the Jewish people we don't hating him we're looking for him like all the people in the world but we hate we fight we resist the occupation and we need to finish this occupation. Mm. This is first. Second, we hope from our brother in Europe country, especially in Germany, uh, to support us to have our freedom because we don't do any criminal or any tragedy to the Jewish people before in, when they're making any criminal or any uh, a tragedy it's been in in Germany or in Europe not here and the European people support him all the time and and to came here to Palestine and to build their state uh, at our land and now they refuse from us to stay in our land we said okay. it's okay it's there is enough place to live here all, uh, all together it's not important between two states our people need to stay but me, I prefer one state to two people, but the Israeli side, they refuse two states, they refuse one state mm -hmm. to two peoples. Two states till now, after 15 or 17 years mm -hmm. from Oslo Agreement, we return to the first square. And uh, about the one state to two people, Israel all the time at hearing news, they said we need Jewish state. Never, I don't see religion state in the world. But now, after 2012, Israel find to have religion state and to take a Jewish state. Uh, I am sure, I am very sure that coming one day at the future and we can have our freedom. But I feel too much sad between my heart why we are losing all this time now mm -hmm. and why we are fighting ourselves and pulling Malta from this side and from, the, from that side. Why? For what and to how many time after but at the future we need to have our uh, freedom when israel said okay or doesn't said okay and now we're looking to a non-violence way to have uh, our freedom one from our strategy that welcoming international people like all of all of you to be in here in palestine to know to see with her eyes to filming with your camera to see what happened because israel they are stronger more than us at the media and all the time they are lawyering, lawyering more and more and they said that they need to have security with their life. I think one state, they having this army in the Middle East, the, the very strong army in the Middle East is the Israeli army and one state they having the atom bomb, they don't have more security. Anybody like us who doesn't have anything, we need our security, not Israel. Mm -hmm. Uh, as uh, uh, I think it's very important your meeting for us here to know more uh, to have more to know more and more for my nation about uh, our life and really we thanks all of you a lot that you are here in Palestine to came to hire to see to visit to know to have more and more for my nation about uh, our life and when you leave first we hope uh, uh, we have, we hope uh, good stay for all of you here in Palestine and we hope peace and travel back to your country and when you're leaving back, we hope from all of you 
when you've been there to see what you are see exactly here, which situation being here in Palestine and Israel. And uh, thank you a lot. Thank you, Shem. <laughs>